welcome back. We are going to do the next portion of this journal from a mailer. Uh, if you recall, the last thing we did was this edition, and I have since went ahead and added this envelope because we were left with just the um, window envelope. So I've added two more to give us um, a couple of more pockets. So we're just going to carry on and with this one here. <clears throat> and this is a five by th about a three and a half uh, inch envelope. <coughs> so what I think I want to do on this one is get a couple of side pockets put in here with two tags. That's my thinking on that. And then when this flips over, actually, I'm just going to leave this one as it is, and um, that will be a pocket there. So this one will be pretty straightforward. Um, I just want to go ahead. I should have wrote down those dimensions. One second, guys. Let me grab my pencil here. Lift you up a bit. Three and a half, so I want to go three and a quarter. And this is for my paper, the background paper I'm going to cut. Five, so four, seven, five. I'm coming in a quarter of an inch on, um, on the design of papers. <coughs> So I've printed this one out. I think that's going to uh, contrast nice with this image, um, just to kind of break things up a little bit. So we'll get that down first, and then um, start thinking about the pockets and tags. Uh, I'll have to look through. There's probably some tags that came with the kit, but I can't, um, I don't know for sure. I'll have to look back through. If not, we'll make some tags. So we want 475 by 3 and a quarter. Okay, I'm going to just sit this over to the side now and get that on there. One seven five. <clears throat> five three. Okay, I'm just measuring out um, the paper that I'm going to put on top of this. Uh, let's see here. I actually think I'm going to use the same paper. Yeah. Uh, 
and so I measured that at three by one and three quarter. I think that's what we want. Actually, I could have went larger. Oh, dog! I must have measured that wrong. Hmm. I wonder if I can get another one out. Hang on, guys. I want to get. I want those to be slightly larger. Okay, so two and a quarter, I think two and a quarter by, <clears throat> by the, what was that, three? Yeah, two and a quarter by three, I think is what I want. I don't know how I uh, got that wrong, I must have measured, and that will give me two pockets there. So now... Now if you want to do any stitching, I would do it to these now, and then you can add them on there. I'm not going to uh, put any on this one. Because we'll come back and add some little uh, images from the ephemera pack. So, um, update on things happening here. We, um, I, it looks like it'll be the first week of April before we actually move. So the house, as you can imagine, is in a complete mess. Um, and then with my daughter, she's managed to get through to her um, primary doctor and he is thinking that she might be having, in addition to the long haul, maybe some interaction with the medications that she's on. So I don't know until I speak to her today because um, I had already went to bed last night when she managed to to speak with him. So uh, I'll have to talk to her today and see what, what the next steps are going to be. So thank you guys so much that um, that are praying for her and uh, I hope that you'll continue to. We appreciate it very much and uh, she said to tell you guys thank you as well. She was uh, very upset when I spoke with her yesterday afternoon. She um, she just couldn't even talk. She was in tears. She's just, it's wearing her down. She's been sick, in all fairness, um, most of her adult life, guys. And um, it's taken its toll, for sure. So I'm just praying that we can get to the bottom of this and she can get some relief. Oh, look at these little. Aren't those beautiful? Perfect, perfect, perfect. I like those. I'm going to use one of each. So, again, thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate um, the prayers. Uh, today being Friday, mm, I don't know if it's highly unlikely we'll get any news. Um, that would be good. I mean, I guess any news at this point would mean she's back to the hospital. Um, so, I don't know, because yesterday she still <clears throat> isn't able to hold down liquids, and of course their concern is she's going to become dehydrated, and it hadn't even occurred to me that because she's not holding down anything, she's not able to keep her medication down. So, you know, it's just, uh... anyways, we'll, um, we'll 
we'll move on. I know you don't want to spend the day listening to that. Okay, I think that is just what those need. Aren't those beautiful? Ooh, like them, like them, like them, like them. Okay, so I'm going to get those. Um, hmm, you know what? Let's put a little bit of cheesecloth just for some texture. Um, I will come back, guys, and we'll do the final embellishments, but this, these I'll go ahead and stick on there behind the image. I've suddenly gone really hot. Okay, guys, that's. Let's make sure those are glued down very good. That they're straight. Did I get that on slightly? There we go. Okay, so that's. Get us a couple of little tags here. Let me see if there's any in our kit. If not, we'll make a couple. Are oh, these pretty, the little washi strips? I'll get to those um, when we come back on some of the final. And I might even put a couple of little um, sentiments. Here we go. Oh, that, that would have been the perfect size. There's only one. Hmm. Hmm. Should we use it or no? I don't know. Because these oh, aren't they gorgeous. You know what I could do? I could reprint this and size it down to get a couple of them. But I, I'll i just go ahead for the time being and we'll make a couple ourselves that will fit. And then I might do that uh, afterwards, replace them. Goodness, guys, I'm roasting here. Let's see if there's some. Okay, let's see. Let me get a couple of those. Oh, the little craft one might be. That might be nice in there. Let's do that. And how I want them to kind of hang out over the edge. That's going to look nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry guys if I'm a little bit um, out of it. And uh, hopefully it'll all start to come together. Here. Okay, I'm just looking through to see if there's anything I want to use from this on the tags. Um, yeah, I think I'm inclined to go back and print those uh, tags out, but I'm just going to leave those for now so that you can get an idea. Uh, put a little bit of lace on. This 
is a really dark, dark. I think it was an espresso color, but it's almost black. I'm, I'm going to use a bit of that. I haven't used any of this in um, the darker trims, and I must start dwindling this down. And I think that's going to be a really nice contrast as well. So today, it just occurred to me, I am going to ask for some of your input on what you would like to see um, incorporated into this, um, this project. So if you don't mind, in the comments, why don't you add, if you want to participate, what you think what kind of little element you'd like to see included in this, isn't that? That's come out really sweet. Very simple and relatively quick that was. So, um, oh, but I do like it, especially contrasting. Um, okay, let's get, get this all back so you guys can see. This is how it's looking now. Get you a little bit closer. So we've got and I may <clears throat> I may move some of these around. I might actually have this a little bit higher because I think when it's when it's done that might that might be a little bit better. So we'll we, we can position those later, but this is how. It's kind of looking when it's closed, and you can see it's really bulking up now. So if that opens, this is going to open. We've got a place to put. I'll put some journal cards in there. We've got this tag. We've got this big tag. We're going to leave the image just because it's pretty. We're leaving that image. Now we've got a couple of tags here, and um, and then this is going to flip over, and we'll have another <coughs> nice pocket here. And if you're concerned about these being able to get into it, what you can do is just add another little score line, and that's going to give you like a, a, a little bit of a spine um, that, would, that would make that slightly easier. So we might do it. depends on how full this starts to get. I hope that's making sense. Um, and so now we'll have this one, and then... That's going to open up. I'm probably on this side going to put a nice bit of. She's got a sheet of stationary paper in there. I have not printed off yet, but it. I'm going to try to size that down. Um, but whatever, regardless, it will be a lined sheet for some note taking here. And then on the side, we're going to have a nice big um, journal card that's going to slide out of here. And then we'll have this small one. So let's, um, because I don't have everything printed for that, let's carry on and get this one done. And then hopefully in the next segment, we'll work on that one and finishing the back because I've already decided we'll put two nice pockets on here as well. And then we might. Um, jumped to the back before we start in finishing off the embellishment because I, I do want to see you know what you guys come up with if there's anything that you can think of that you'd like me to do I'll add it to that back portion um, okay so here we are this one I think what we'll do is open this up on the top So I'm just going to take just the tiniest bit across there. And uh, then now we are going to put a, just a little bead of glue, because when you open that up, you, you need to tack this back down. So. 
so I'm going to end up making a tag that's going to be about three and a quarter. I'll write that on there by five. And we'll make that in a minute. So the first thing I want to do is get this covered with a nice paper. Um, that might work. Let me just measure this. That would be three and a half. Five and an eighth. Let me see if that's three and a half inches wide. I don't think it is. No. Okay. So, that being said, let me see if I can get this one to work here. Three and a half inches. say by five and a quarter, five and a quarter, that way I can save the little B and I'll do something with him. Oops. Okay, so that's got the space on the top there. That's going to open. So if we're going to have one there, I think I'm inclined to do a couple of... Um, pockets facing up, some tags in that. find it anywhere the measurement for that so I'm going to use this as the background guys so that is five and an eighth by what did I say three and a half yes my brain is is really really on vacation today How 
Oh lordy guys. We're almost out of time so I'll try to get this on and then I will have to stop the camera and come back. Okay guys, I'm going to stop the camera. When I come back, we're going to add a couple more pockets and tags. So I'll be back. Okay guys, I have taken this over the machine. I nearly made a massive boo-boo and stitched all the way around this. Thank goodness uh, I came to my senses in time. <laughs> but I did want to add a little bit of stitching around that. So I've done that. And then I have sewn this. This is just some extra scrap, the background, and then the washi strips. I just took a bit of those. I just think that's going to be really sweet little pockets there. So we're going to get those down. I've also printed one of the pages. I did two to the sheet, so that's going to now give us a couple of tags that should fit into these places. So what have you guys all got planned for the weekend? Have you got big plans um, to do anything? I don't... Uh, I think we've got much. Um, Paul is still working on clearing out the garage and listing things for sale. And um, other than maybe taking Daisy somewhere for a little short walk because she's not able to go far now, that's probably going to be about all that's going on. I'm hoping the weather. I haven't checked the forecast today, but I'm hoping we'll see a little bit of sun, maybe. That would lift everybody's spirits, I think. So maybe, maybe we'll get a little bit of sunshine this weekend. That would be a, a really nice bonus, I think. Okay. Tag, tag, tags. Let's see what we're going to do here because... I'm leaning towards a couple of tags here because I don't know if I, oh, I don't know. Let me just cut them up and see. This is the hard thing is um, when you're doing the tutorial, you're talking out loud, and as you're saying what you're going to do, you're already in your mind thinking, no, 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 I'm not going to do that. So that's, that's the tricky part, whereas if you're just creating on your own, it's all within your mind, and <clears throat> you make the corrections before anybody even knows. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be honest, I'm still not that comfortable with uh, being on the camera and walking through the process, because it's difficult to make conversations. See, I don't like the way that sticks out. Um, so I'm going to have to do something different for that pocket, but that's fine. It, it at least gives you an idea of what we're aiming for. So now let's make a large tag for the top one, and I've already got the measurement for that, and that's a uh, 325. And I always like to put these in first. Finally, I've learned to do that. Yep, see, the stitching took that down. So that's now at three by five and a quarter. And hopefully I can get that to work. <clears throat> yeah, it took me years uh, to finally figure out. You must check that before because... Once you've made your, yeah, I may have to take, I'm going to take it down even more, guys. It's because 
my stitching wasn't that wasn't straight on that. Okay, let me go ahead and make the don't want that hanging over. So yeah, that's come down quite a lot. Gosh, what's going on? It just doesn't want to go in there. Probably me. Probably me. Yeah, there we go. That's going in a little bit better. And it still doesn't want to go beyond that. That's really, really weird. I hate to do that because it's going to end up so small. But I really didn't want to see it. I just, yeah, that's fine. All right, I'm just going with it, guys. <clears throat> okay, I want to get an image to be the focal point, so. That's a really pretty one there. I like that. And then one of the journal cards, I'm going to use that. I think I'll go with that one because that'll be the right orientation. So. I've just spotted. <clears throat> some of these tabs. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think I'm actually going to cut one of those and scrap that one. Again, this is just a, an off cot that I had over there. get one of these. This is part of the kit. You guys probably know this already, um, so yeah, I'm sorry if this is just stating the obvious, but maybe you're new. These little tabs, I found the easiest way to do these, and I will say, you know, with, and I'm just talking about past, <laughs> this isn't anybody specific, um, 
some of the designers I that have offered the tabs um, you might have to trim it slightly but what I do take your scoreboard or I'm using the cutter and just center that and put yourself a little score line just like it did down the center then you can fold that And like I said, you might have to trim it off slightly, but that way you're cutting and it will be identical. Because sometimes when you're cutting, I mean, none of us are perfect at this. And this is just going to ensure that those do come out. Now, as I said, you might, one side, there might be a little bit of white. This one is coming out perfect. I have in the past worked with kits where even by doing that, centering it up, um, it didn't line it up completely, so you, you might have to take a little bit off of one side, or um, you can also distress it to hide any imperfections, but you see now that's come out perfect. So it's just a little tip. I mean, you probably already know that, guys, so I'm sorry if I'm stating the obvious. Just one of those things I've picked up over the years, and it, it makes it life, anything that makes life easier, right? So here I'm just going to add this down here, and I do want to ink a little bit because it's just seeming a little bit plain there. And I may come back in at a later point and add some of my bee stamps because I'm getting quite a nice collection of bee stamps, guys. So I might do some images throughout or just add some journal cards that have been had stamped with the um, the bees, but I will show you that as as I do it. So this, I, I do like this. This is a nice little tab. I love it when kits include this because not everybody has a tab punch. And you all know my good, good friend Andrea gifted me my whale punch. Oh, thank you, Andrea. It is so, so treasured, that is. But they are hard to get a hold of. And uh, now the other thing you can look for is in, in the die cuts. Um, you can get some tabs, but it's kind of a hassle, isn't it, to always go to the um, big shop when you just want to do um, a tab. But I love that. I think that's come out sweet. So, having said that, that's going to be our little tab tag that's tucked in here kind of hidden you can just have that little bit of a definition about the bee sticking up there and uh, let me snip that. okay so there we go guys we've got another element I'll we'll fill this out later um, but that gives you... So what we've got left, the next segment we'll do these two. And then that's that's really starting to fill her up nice, I think. Um, I'm, I'm actually quite happy because it's it's got a nice layered look to it now. And I'm liking the contrast between this and that. And then you've got the different shades of the, um, the craft. So you can see it's already bulking up. So when that closes, it's not going to be gator mouth, but it will fill that in. And we'll have to make a decision. I might even want to put, I don't know if it needs like a little latch. Probably not. Because look at that. Isn't that filling up nice? And then we'll do the same on the back. Um, and then remembering what we've got for the front already ready. Um, that's going to go on the front. This, I think that's going to end up really sweet. Yeah. And then we'll, I don't know, we'll see. We're just taking it one step at a time, guys. I'm loving how this is coming out. I still haven't added the lined paper behind this. Um, But I, I'm definitely going to do that. I've already decided because I want this to be a really nice writing. And I, I just, this is the thing, I don't really like seeing that, you see. So I'm going to finish that off with some, some plain lined paper. just to, And then 
um, I might even make a nice big uh, journal card that's just clipped in here because this could actually afford to be filled out a bit. It's got the room. So there's there's quite a bit we can still do with this. Um, I hope you're enjoying this project. Uh, it's It seems to have struck a chord with some of you, which is great. I love the, the feedback, guys. I really do. I like to hear from you. And as I said, I want you to be actively involved in this one. Let me know. You know, is there something that you want to see me do um, with the elements that um, maybe you've seen somebody else do and you'd like to see? if we can replicate it. Um, okay guys, there we go. That's the end. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will be back soon. Um, I might not be able to get another installment until um, next week. I don't know. I'm going to try, but I do want to... Um, we'll see. I'll try to get uh, get on to the next part as quick as I can, but I can't guarantee I'm going to have a, uh, another one over the weekend. It might be Monday before I can get to it. Anyways, guys, have a great weekend. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. Um, keep healthy. Uh, definitely, you know, if, if you haven't had the COVID out there, um, I highly, highly recommend the zinc. Uh, Paul and I have been on zinc now for a couple of years, and um, I do attribute it that to um to us not i'm not saying I'm not catching covid but i'm saying it definitely has helped with our immunity so you know do those little simple things and um you know do things to keep yourself upbeat um uh, in your um your mental health it's as well so i'm praying for all of you and uh, i hope that um you have a great weekend see you back soon bye